Richard Southern joins us once again. Those are some soothing sounds. I'm ready for a nap after this. Me too. We take a little siesta here, Janelle. <laughs> yes, okay. Before we do that, let's talk about this first story that's going to have many questioning whether we're really alone in the universe. This will wake you up. The U.S. military has, for the first time ever, officially released several videos of unidentified flying objects. Wow. Okay. The videos became public via unauthorized leaks in 07 and 2017. We've actually shown them here on the segment before. But in a stunning move, the U.S. government is officially declassifying them and speaking out on them for the first time, basically admitting we don't know what it is. The videos were shot by military pilots. They show craft with no obvious form of propulsion. One of the pilots described one of them as looking to him like a 40-foot-long tic-tac. They, at times, defied the laws of physics, going hypersonic and then stopping on a dime. The Pentagon, in a statement, said, quote, the aerial phenomenon observed in the videos remain uncharacterized and unidentified. Wow. And I want to show you a tweet, Janella, from the former U.S. Senate Majority Leader, Harry Reid. He tweeted that this release, quote, only scratches the surface of what the Pentagon has on file. Oh. He says the U.S. needs to take a, quote, serious scientific look at this and any potential national security implications. So what do you think, Janella, for the wow. first time, the government's saying, hey, we have this video <laughs> and we don't know what these things are. So when do we know when that video was shot? They were shot in 04 and 05 off the east coast of the United States by these military okay. pilots who were seeing these things on radar. And then they found them and got them on their so their video. Tape. We're talking so 15 they don't know they years are. ago. Uh, I want, did they ever come back? I mean, if it was 15 years ago, they came, they looked, they saw, they were like, mm, nah, next. <laughs> so maybe we don't have too much to worry People about. Online today, what else does uh, 2020 have in store for us? Now yeah. we're talking about the government and aliens. Well, we, I just saw today that apparently a, a meteor was going to pass by Earth, but it wasn't going to hit us. So we're, we're good. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, please. Like, well, we've had enough here in 2020 already. Okay, before we went out of time, lots of people spending time playing video games, and there's a particularly uh, popular one. And now there are some changes that are mimicking our real life. There is a financial crisis, albeit a fake one, brewing in this popular coronavirus lockdown video game. It's Nintendo's Animal Crossing. And the game informed players, uh, 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 Janella, that the fake bank in the game has slashed interest rates to near zero. Oh, God. The, uh, <laughs> the policy move was apparently meant, meant to mirror the real world central banks who have cut rates to near zero. Uh, the lower rates, though, means that the most effective way of making money in the game is now to gamble on the game's stock market, huh. spelled S-T-A-L-K. Uh, the exchange only has one commodity, it's turnips. And players today found that those turnips crashed. This is a tweet from my colleague, Catherine Jate. She says, my son uh, called me at work all upset because turnip prices have collapsed in the <laughs> stock market. <laughs> Listen, aren't we turning to video games for an escape from reality? This feels too close to home. <laughs> like, we got enough trouble looking at my own bank account. I don't need this, Janella. I don't need to do this in my virtual world as well. Let's keep it fun and light, okay? <laughs> yes, please. Back to Pac-Man, I think. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I'm going to stay away from the video games. Thanks so much, Richard. We'll see you see tomorrow. See you tomorrow.